Right now, let's learn about the 30, 60, 90 right triangle. How are we going to start? Hmm. How are we going to start? Let me see. I know. We'll start with this thing here. Whoop, whoop, there it goes. Whoop, there it goes. This is a triangle. And all of its sides are equal. So I'm going to put a little line through them like that. That means they're all equal. That's an equal side angle, equal lateral angle, triangle, equal lateral triangle. And all the angles are equal, so it's an equal angular, equiangular triangle. They're all equal. What does that mean? Well, the sum of all the angles equals 180. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So each one of these guys is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. And this is 60 degrees. And this guy over here is 60 degrees. All right. So all of a sudden, someone comes along and divides this guy in half. What they do? Divides this in half. Cuts right through this angle, right in half, and right down to the other side, cuts that in half. Uh-oh. What happened? What's the result of all that? Well, the result of all that is that this guy is still 50. This guy is still 50. But well, this guy is now 30, and this guy is also 30, because it got divided in half. And 60 is divided by 2 is 30. 30 over here, 30 over there. These two sides are still equal. Well, let's say they all started out at 2. This guy would still be 2. But this guy, which was 2, got divided in half, so this half is 1, and this half is 1. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. I know what we could do now. Let's take half of this thing, back from there, and make them go away. Now what do we got? Well, we got a 30 degree angle here, a 60 degree angle here, that's 90. This guy then must be equal to 90. Huh. So this guy is 90, this guy is 60, and this guy is 30. Huh. We can get rid of this guy. Okay. We don't need him anymore. Now, what do we know about the sides of this, this little triangle here? Well, we know this side is still 2. And we know this side is still 1. But what about this guy over here? What's he equal to? Hmm. Huh. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Well, we know from Pythagorean theorem, yeah, what do we know from him? Uh, oh, okay, I know what we know about him. Uh, let's see. Hmm, he came up with that funny theorem about uh, A squared plus B squared equals c squared. And this would be the a part over here. This would be the b part, which we don't know. This would be the c part. That's the hypotenuse. Hmm. Okay, now what are we going to do? That's the a, that's the b, and we don't know the b. Let's fill in what we know. Well, a squared, a is 1, so that's 1 squared, plus we don't know what b is, so we'll just put b squared, and c is 2, so we'll put 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, I know that. b squared is b squared, I know that too. 1 squared is 1. So I got 1 plus b squared equals 4. I'm going to subtract 1 from here and 1 from there. 
I get a tree over here, and I get a you're gone and out of here over here. That leaves me with b squared equals 3. So I take the, uh, oh, I'm going to fit this in here. This ain't too easy. Well, let's see what I can do. I take the square root of one side. I don't know if I could do this. Tough one. Uh, there, I got it. I'm too good. And be, the radical b squared equals radical 3. And of course, that becomes a b of a b. b is equal to radical 3. The radical of something squared is the something. Always. For example, if you had 5 squared, that's 25. You took the radical of 5 squared. What's the uh, square root of 25? 5. Equals 5. That's why I knew that the radical b squared is equal to b. That's a good trick to know. I think. So then, now we know everything there is to know about the 30-60-90 triangle, don't we? Well, not everything. But the important stuff, which is what? That B is now equal to radical 3. And we don't have to have the 90 guy there all the time. And, or the A guy there. We can get rid of the C thingy and the 30 thingy. Make that look nice. There we go. And clean that up. It's just too good. All right. Well, this is their typical 30, 60, 90 then. A 1 here. Ta -da. A 2 here. Ta -da. And a radical 3 here. Ta-da! I guess we don't need the B guy there. Really don't. So we can just sort of move him over like that. And that is your typical, everyday, kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle guy. So, that's about it. I can't think of anything more to tell you. So, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, now. All right, now, let's learn about the 30.